If you're working on a really large spreadsheet like this one, freezing column A and row 1 and 2 is essential. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's say for example, if you were to scroll to the right, you can see that your column A disappears. Right? And likewise, if you scroll down, your first two header will start to disappear. So essentially, there's three ways to freeze your Excel spreadsheet panel. The first one will be to freeze the first column. So you go to view, make sure you're on a view tab here, freeze panel and freeze column. So what this does is that it freezes this particular column A, which is your first column. And if you scroll to the right now, you can see that your column A is frozen. Let me unfreeze this again. Okay, you can also freeze the first top row. You can easily do that by going to view again and go freeze panel and freeze top. So what this does is that it only freeze the first uh, row which is row one and but if you scroll down you can see that it freezes the first top row but by actually my header I've got two rows so how do you actually freeze the first two row to do that you highlight the third row like this and then you go freeze again make sure you're on view tab freeze panel so what this does is that it freezes the first two rows if you scroll down now you can see that your your header or your first two rows are frozen let me unfreeze again Likewise, you can do the same thing with column as well. Let's say, for example, if you want to freeze the first four columns, what you do is you highlight the fifth column and then you go freeze panel and you go freeze panel here again. And now you can see column A, B, and C, and D, they are all frozen like this. So let me unfreeze this again. But what if you want to freeze row one and two? And at the same time, freeze column A. What you do is that you place your cursor right here. So you will freeze on this corner here. So which means this and this will be frozen. So select this cell here, which is B3. And now you go freeze panel and freeze panel. Now you can see if you scroll down, the top two rows are frozen. And if you scroll right, you realize that your column A is frozen.